supposed to live like a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire, and then the people are on Section 8, and the people are struggling, everybody on welfare, everybody walking around, the preacher driving good, preacher got four, five cars, and the people of God, they, they walking around on, you know, Mutt and Jeff, and, and on scooters trying to get to a worship service. Listen, hear me clearly. I'm not saying that a man or woman of God should not prosper. God wants all of his children to prosper. And listen, the concept of kingdom is all about a king and his kingdom. So the kingdom is only as wealthy as the king is. But there's a problem when you have a local preacher that's chipped up and they live in large and in charge, you know, like a superstar. And then they're pastoring people who are impoverished, not only in the natural, but in the spiritual. People who are shouting and the music is going and they're coming to a building every week to release emotional stress. But they're not growing. Your Lordy Grace, it's time to hit him with the sanctiflism. I will bless the Lord at all times with no shame. His majesty I proclaim, true and supreme Elohim. The earth full of church goers who be claiming they know him. The Bible told it and quoted, live it to give it your shame. Every no name of relevant, only the famous prevalent. If you ain't got no bad, you ain't got no swag. Don't get your credit delicate. It's all about the presidents sleeping in the dirt. You want to be like Jay Williams? You gon' have to put in work. So what? You got the evidence of theology. I'm from Chilltown, J.C., where survival is cheap. The world is straight. Oh, yo, you know the name of the game. I know you willing to go. It's not just to become a slave. Yo, the way your holiness is not right. It's the opposite of pride. The way to treat the life of Christ the Bible. Pay close attention, because what I'm spitting is classified. And you fake ballers don't let you call it.
first of all, many of you need to reevaluate your situation. You need to get on your face, turn your plate over and seek Holy Spirit. Many of you need to seek God and say, God, am I where you want me to be? And am I doing what you call me to do? Because let me tell you something. The tragedy in life that, that is the most severe, the most heart-wrenching, is not the list of things that are hideous and wicked like trafficking, rape, molestation, manipulation, you know, verbal assassination, physical harm, stabbing, shooting. It's like busting you in the head with a brick, busting your head with a pipe, or somebody stealing your vehicle, or breaking in your house and ramshacking and taking your valuables. Somebody rolling up on you, putting that thing thing up against your noggin, putting the 12 gauge against the side of your rear. Somebody stabbing you in your back who you thought was your best thing. Those things are hideous and horrible. But let me tell you, the worst tragedy ever is for you and I to live a full life and then to leave this life without ever acknowledging the call of God on our life. That's the most tragic thing ever. To live our lives and to be highly acclaimed for this and that, to receive awards and receive citations and all type of paperwork on the wall and all type of prestige and acknowledgement from men and women and organizations all type of honorary degrees and this and that uh, to receive all of this pomp and circumstance achievements in academia achievements in entertainment achievements in the business world being the number one stock investor uh, being the richest so-and-so uh, being the one who has the greatest portfolio of real estate being a great typhoon in the culinary area of life being an awesome guru in health and fitness. To have all of this and then to die and stand before God and hear him say, I know you did a lot on the earth and I know your name rang bells. I know there were a lot of phone calls that you answered. But there was one calling that you never answered. I just want to ask you, how come you never answered my call on your life? How come you never gave me a yes? You say yes to everybody else, to this event, that event, to this showcase, to that place, this place. You said yes to this, this collaboration, this collabo. You said yes to this video shoot and yes to that fashion show. Yes, to this business deal and that business venture. But God will say, what have you done with the call that I have called you to? You've answered everybody else's call. But what about the call of God on your life for you to die without ever answering or acknowledging the call of God in your life? That is the ultimate tragedy. Tragedy thing. Even if tragedy was a word, it's a word now. The tragedous thing, the most tragedous thing, the greatest tragedy of all is to be in that space, in that place where you never answered the call of God in your life. Though people acknowledge you, you walked in it, oh, praise the Lord, Bishop. Praise the Lord, Apostle. Oh, prophet, prophet. Oh, oh, praise the Lord, Evangelist. Praise the God. Oh, teacher, he's a great teacher. He's a great teacher. but to never answer the call of God in your life. And then to sit around with people and to gloat as if you the bomb.com and you know you've never done what God has called you to do. That's horrible. That's horrible. Horrible. Yes, trafficking is a horrible crime, but there's so many religious folk trafficking souls into their religious places. They call the church when it's a, it's a, it's a ratchet place where God is not even there 99.9% .9 of the time if not at all.
It's the chin chucker. Yeah. You know what time it is. You know what rhyme it is. Yo, I'ma keep it a buck fitty. The only ninjas I kick away are the ones with me. My flow game is propane, swag gritty. I rip the sure with no shame in AC. I'm that dude they try to pull jackets elementary. He roses me as like little Nas in the penitentiary. You on your knees, I'm a mouthful, not half a cup. I spit the real, you know, detect the back, you'll toilet up. You know the deal, I keep some gunner, that's the time I'm on. You 